day all and you welcome to my vlog. My name is Erin and this is how to talk to writers online. There is a cat in this video but she's over there. You only get her butt right now. So you've seen a cool writer or creator online and you want to be friends. What do you do? I'm going to take you through a list of do's and don'ts when approaching writers. Do talk to writers or creators that produce work that you genuinely enjoy. If you don't like their work or you don't find them interesting as a person, then you're going to struggle to connect and that's not fun for either side of this equation. Don't talk to writers with big platforms just to milk it. Using people is a dick move and trying to befriend someone who has a big platform just so you can use them is not cool. They are people and if you can't treat them as such, then don't talk to them. Do follow them. This is a great way to get on people's radar. If you're following them, then you're able to react to the things that they put out, participate in all that fun jazz. Don't get pissy if they don't follow you back. If you are not okay with supporting someone just for the sake of supporting them, especially a creator that you don't have a relationship with yet, then that's going to make you and them miserable. Do reach out with respectful questions that you're curious about. Asking questions about their work, their process, or them as a person is a good way to get to know them and it lets them know that you're interested. Now, this do comes with several don'ts. Don't use them as Google. Look up your question first. If you can easily find your answer, then you don't need to be asking an actual human who has things to do. If after research, you can't find your answer, then go ahead, ask the human. Don't ask invasive questions. If you would be uncomfortable with a stranger asking you, don't ask them. Don't get pissy if your question does not get a reply. Especially with people who have bigger platforms, they're getting hundreds, thousands of interactions a day. And they can't always get to everyone. If you're sending them something and you're gonna turn into a butt munch and yell at them for not answering you, do everyone a favor and don't. Don't skip over their FAQ page if they have one because you're too lazy. A lot of people with larger platforms tend to have a frequently asked questions page and you should check there to see if your question is answered. If it's there, great, you have your answer. If it's not, then go ahead and ask. Do like, comment on, and share their work. If your name is showing up in their notifications a lot, then you're more likely to be remembered. You're helping spread the word about their work because you like it. If you want to be friends with someone, then supporting them is a good place to start. Telling someone that you genuinely love their work will go a long way to endearing you to them. But don't have the expectation that they do this in return. People you reach out to are under no obligation to follow you, to reply to your comments, to converse with you, etc. You don't know what is going on in their life and you should not be pressuring strangers on the internet to interact with you. Pressuring people into a relationship of any kind is not good. In addition, if you choose to support them by buying their work, giving them donations on coffee or Patreon or whatever, do not get it into your head that you own them or that they owe you. Their work is theirs, their characters are theirs, and their time is theirs. You need to support people because you want to support people, not because you're gonna turn around and think that they owe you something. You are not buying them, you are supporting them. Do give your opinions on things when writers ask for it. If a creator is reaching out for some opinions, then you can reach back with yours. In those cases, it is welcomed and needed. Offering to be a beta reader is an excellent opportunity to get some one-on-one -on -one time with a creator. Plus, you get early access to a work that you're probably going to enjoy and you get to help them out. Don't be a dick about it. Sometimes we think our opinions are necessary, but if they're not asked for, they're probably not. Consider that a lot of creators are going to be getting hate. It's just a thing that seems to happen, so they don't need people who are trying to befriend them shoving unkind opinions at them. Adding to this, please don't tag creators in negative reviews. It's a douche move. They don't want to see it. Do tell them that you like their books, their art, their characters, etc. Tell them who your favorites are, what scenes you loved. Creators love to hear this. You can basically not tell them this enough. Don't tell them you love something by insulting something else that they've made. Praising one thing while dissing another does not make people feel good. People know that they improve over time and they know that tastes change. Don't come rolling in to tell them that you thought something they made before sucked, but their new thing is amazing, or vice versa, that you preferred their old style or genre or whatever. Just move along. They don't personally need to hear it. 
be kind, be genuine, and be conscious that people on the internet have other things going on in their lives. At the end of the day, you support people because you want to support them, not because of what you're getting out of them. You may become friends with people and you may not. Or maybe you'll talk for a bit and find that you're not suited as friends. All of that is okay. Just like people in real life, you're not going to be compatible with every person that you talk to online. You don't have to become best friends with creators that you admire, but it doesn't hurt to reach out. Show your genuine appreciation and see what happens. It may happen immediately or after some time or not at all. Be prepared and comfortable with all of those outcomes. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, then ring that bell. All my social media links will be in the description below. Both of my books, Olympian Confessions, Hades and Persephone, and Olympian Confessions, Hera, are available in ebook and paperback. Links will be available on my website. I will see you all next week with another video. Go forth and make friends. Bye. Hey, don't eat the garland. <gasps>